What's up guys, QHA3 Austin here, and welcome back to part 5 of Let's Play Dead Queen. So last time, uh, we defeated a sinister clone, and we, uh, used a sentinel foot, which we're in now, upside down, as basically a weapon and transport. And now, we're basically screwed. Gotcha! Wait till Sinister gets his hands on you. Isn't that blockbuster? Shit! That's not good. Wait, that's our ass. We'll need to find our arm to twist the head back on. Damn it, even the controls are backwards. Yes, they are. Pretty the controls confused. are backwards, so on, I'm actually holding down right that now to go sugars? forward. What's he doing down here? Hey! So we've got Hello. this dog that has our arm now. Stop it! Stop it! Don't make me shoot you, boo boo. Come you know, on. Don't you, have balls to lick? you know where he just said, don't, don't make me shoot balls. you, boo-boo? My dog's Let's name see. is actually boo-boo, so I take that personally. Hey, no, Thanks anywhere. so much, Deadpool. There we go. Ow. That must hurt. He just pulled an exorcist. Good boy. Who's your good doggy? That's right, Sid. Ha! Now to find the X base. Who? You know, Rogue. Which way? Somewhere. No one's gonna survive that. You said. Just I think we did we go back the other way? This is where my memory gets a tad fuzzy. I think we get to sneak around here, but um I'm not gonna sneak. I don't care to. Oh, apparently he didn't see me anyway. I actually forget which way to go. Maybe here. Ah, he sees me. Great. Let's see what's behind door number one. So Rogue has been taken by Blockbuster, who works for uh, Sinister. Like some kind of Genosian prison. Prison? I was able to read a blurb about it before someone tore up High Moon's script. Hey, that was cathartic. I don't know why we're still trying to follow that stupid script. That's yeah. That's what we've been doing? Whatever! New script. Save Rogue, make her fall madly in love with us. Done. Happy? We're better at improv. Yeah, the script is basically oh, null and shit. void now. Makes it doesn't matter at all. The the game that they were supposed to make in game is not happening anymore. This is all real. Well, in in game real. It's you know what I mean. It's a game within a game. We've been through this before. Yes, prison fight. Oh yeah, so now we have these enemies who basically put out an orange pulse beam. They actually kind of hurt. All these guys. So their heads glow pink purple kinda. And um they they're basically kamikazes. They blow, if you get close enough to them, they will blow up. Yeah, but better looking. All of these guys look to be cloned from some X-Men or another. If you when they uh come to blow you up, if you just teleport, they won't get you. Or you can just shoot them and kill them. Yeah, she needs to fall in love with us. She's gotta be here somewhere. Oh, you caught me off guard. All right. Technology is your friend. Well, not your friend. See that technology is your friend line he just had. He said that so many times before. They they could have recorded more dialogue. Ah, oh, this part. Oh, what? Dicks hang out here often? Get it with the dicks. 
Yeah, seriously? Song. I'm gonna sing the pee pee song. <laughs> nice dick. Oh my god. I love that part. That's hilarious. I've trained the old lizard since level one. D dude, don't talk while I pee, all right? Okay, I get it. Never break the guy code again. Damn it, I can't think of any good dick jokes. What a wasted opportunity. All right, I'm gonna assume that most of these doors don't have anything behind them except for points for upgrades. Yeah, I'm certain this is the way to go. Hey, far on the left, it's full. And by that he means the momentum attacks. I haven't been using the momentum attacks. Um, I just haven't. I don't know. I just I don't usually use them. I, that's just plain and simple. I don't use them. Like I I can get by on my own. It's actually, it's pretty hard to aim in this game because of the crosshairs. The crosshairs are like really weird. And the enemies move all around. If you go down there, I think it's just some points for uh, upgrades. Also, I should probably state the obvious if you haven't noticed. I'm sure they said it already, but we are in a Genosian prison, which is basically run hey, down, considering there's the really um, what what no inmates here. In prison. I got tired of the food. Oh, this again. Why is this happening? Uh, <laughs> we need to make a quick phone call. Deadpool, what the hell is High Moon doing to my game? Well, use the money I transferred to your account and patch this shit. Now! Yeah, so basically the game just received a really quick patch update. Money well um, which basically made this that room is probably gonna uh, how it's supposed to be. Damn it, I got hit by one of them. Oh crap. I really hate these guys, especially on hard difficulties. They can really hurt. Also, um, I can't really show it off here because my, since it's easy mode, my weapons do too much damage. But if you're on a uh, hardcore, or I keep saying hardcore, it's uh, ultra bonds. I'm thinking Gears of War. I don't know why. I really don't know why. That's not even the hardest difficulty on Gears of War, so I don't even know why I'm thinking of it. Basically, um, if you're on the hard difficulty in this game and you shoot those guys, they will, they won't die, but they'll have some damage on them. But if you just let them go. Uh, and don't hit them if they have any damage on them then they'll just basically be a ticking time bomb they'll eventually die themselves but I can't show that off here because since it's easy my weapons do too much damage so it kills them in like one hit hey look I just noticed I crossed six million points where do I go Okay, um, maybe this? Yes. Okay, onward and upward. Oh, is it this part? I think it's this part. Yep. Mm hmm. <laughs> maybe. Is that what I think it is? This must be a trick. Why would there be. Shut it, Stuffy. We gotta get down there. I'm telling you, it's a trick of some sort. If you saw what we saw, you wouldn't be saying that. Now, that this does no not look like a prison all at all. What you saw. Where the hell are we? Here he comes. Here he comes. Well, it 
It's about time someone recognized the need to throw us a party. Look, oh my god. Rogue over in the VIP section. Hi, name's Deadpool. Perhaps you've heard of me, star of the game that you're currently in. Oh yeah. Don't you have your own reality show? Yep, that's me. So, wanna make out? <laughs> no way. Damn. So basically he's a pimp now, and we're at a, a pool party slash dance party. Mind if I saddle up to this water hole? Ooh, I love it when you talk like that. <laughs> yes! Now that's more like What? I wasn't talking to you, jerk. Get away! Does this qualify as an Easter egg? With all the bunnies around here, I'd say yes. I'm only gonna show off a few of these. Hello, nurses. How are we today? Care for a drink? Hi, Deadpool. Nice muscles. I was gonna say that. Ladies, ladies, I don't mind repeat compliments. This party is awesome. Thank you, Hyman. Man, I really wish I was Deadpool, especially now. No one gets in if they're not on the list. Yeah, I'm done. Oh. I showed off enough. Deadpool? What are you... Don't waste your time with her. Ooh, daddy likes. Just wait, honey. I'm about to blow you away. What the hell? You mean this whole party was just in our head? Surprise! Surprise! Huh? Sinister's got plans for you. Ah, it was all fake. Where did all the babes go? They were never here. That sucks. That was awesome. You know, I have I never really cared like I never knew about Deadpool. I wouldn't say never cared for him, but I never really knew about Deadpool until this game. I mean Yes, I saw the movie X-Men Origins Wolverine. Yes, I think it's a good movie, unlike a lot of people. I like the movie, but I now realize that they did not put Deadpool to his fullest extent in that movie. He's definitely, you know, Deadpool is Deadpool in this game. And I never knew it because I never, aside from X-Men Origins Wolverine, I never really saw the character in anything else. So I didn't know what he was to its full extent. Now that I do, I have to say, he is easily one of, if not, my favorite Marvel character. I absolutely love Deadpool. He is so awesome. He's badass. He's hilarious. Just ev everything about it is just awesome. And, you know, I've been a Marvel fan ever since, um... Uh, 06, I think. I was, I think I was maybe 8 or 9 years old. And, um... I saw the, uh, first Spider-Man movie. Because this is at a time when, um... A lot of Marvel movies are, uh, PG-13. And my parents didn't want me to see PG-13 movies. So, um... I eventually, um... I went to my aunt and uncle's house. And they had the first Spider-Man movie from 2002 on, um... VHS and I my parents said it was alright if I watched it and uh, I did and I absolutely fell in love with Marvel and almost everything Marvel and that's kind of how I liked you know Marvel stuff but ever since then you know my favorite character I think had been Spider-Man but now after playing this game I think my favorite character is Deadpool I really do I, I love this character and aside from the repetitive gameplay, I love this game. Because the story and the... The story and the uh, dialogue is hilarious. So this is basically just more wave fighting. As usual. Like I said, I don't really like the gameplay because it's repetitive and I... I think the graphics are eh, they're only okay. 
And this game came out in 2013, so I think they could have done better. Connect that wire somehow. Alright, so we're gonna have to We have to sacrifice our hands and electrocute ourselves so that we can uh get this store open or whatever. I forget what it is we're trying to do. Again, this is where my memory gets a bit fuzzy. But now we have these enemies who when you uh when you kill them Well, when you quote unquote kill them, they sprout from the wall. I don't know where they are now. Oh, whatever. I don't, I'm not minding it. Gonna hurt you more than it's gonna hurt me. <laughs> Cracked them. Darn near killed them. <laughs> Cracked them. <laughs> Darn near killed them. <laughs> ah, talk about breaking the suspension of disbelief. That was basically just, I guess I was supposed to be like a play or something. I don't really know. Where do you suppose Blockbuster took Rose? Maybe he's trying to make her fall in love with him. Would never work. You have to shave her pudder. Yeah, you're I right. guess the reason that uh, Blockbuster kidnapped Rogue is because he realized that Blockbuster is becoming so irrelevant now. He's forcing Rogue to go out and rent old VHS tapes. That's what he's doing. Cause he knows he's irrelevant. Man, I that's another thing. I would love going to Blockbuster when I was like five or four years old or something. I would love going to Blockbuster with my family and like, you know, getting the like there were like old Scooby Doo VHS tapes that I would get and just come home and watch a lot of Scooby Doo. I I loved that. And now we've got the internet where you can get pretty much anything. I mean, so, uh, it's irrelevant now to go to Blockbuster. Because now we've got things like Netflix and, you know, Hulu and even YouTube. Because some people, you know, manage to get past the copyright and, uh, upload stuff there. So, I mean, we've got, uh, a lot of stuff now that Blockbuster's irrelevant. Hmm. Like Which kind of sucks, cause I, I did it love going like there. Hey, there's Rogue. Okay, so we need to get our ass across this this river of shit somehow. Any ideas? Think, think, think. Wait, do that again. Do what? That. Oh. We can use our bubbles to jump across. <laughs> well, isn't that handy? That is very unique. But we'll do it next time in uh, part 6. So thank you guys for watching part 5. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And next time we'll try to save Rogue from all the VHS tapes that Blockbuster is forcing her to watch. So until part 6, peace out.